Good day everyone, I am Jaya Lumari Ulep from 1BSE A1. This video focuses on the achievements accomplished by the United Nations. The United Nations is an international organization founded after the Second World War on October 24, 1945. It consisted of 51 countries who committed to maintaining international peace and security, developing friendly relations among nations, and promoting social progress, better living standards, and human rights. Currently, it made up of 193 member states. The United Nations and its work, guided by the purposes and the principles contained in its founding charter. At this juncture, let us now jump to the first achievement of the United Nations. The UN has helped many countries become democratic and peaceful states. So why they did this? Because democracy is a core value of the United Nations. The UN supports democracy by promoting human rights, development, and peace and security. In actual fact, the United Nations promotes good governance, monitors elections, supports the civil society to strengthen democratic institutions and accountability. It ensures self-determination in decolonized countries and assists in drafting of new constitutions in post-conflict nations. Now, let us proceed to the second achievement of the United Nations. The UN plays an important role in protecting our environment. So there was an Earth Summit, which is also known as the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development that was held on June 3-14, 1992 at Brazil, specifically at Rio de Janeiro. The primary objective of the Rear Earth Summit was to produce a broad agenda and a new blueprint for international action on environmental and development issues that would help guide international cooperation and development policy in the 21st century. That was a big conference about climate control and other problems of our environment. The third achievement is the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is a UN organization that controls the nuclear weapons of countries and sees to it that they don't build an atomic bomb. It is a key player in the effort to prevent nuclear terrorism for it identifies and promotes best practices and safety standards and implements programs to assist states in applying their standards. So without this and the legal fare for much of its activity, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, the world would be a greatly more dangerous place. Let us proceed to the next achievement. The UN has given help to over 50 million refugees. The Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees was created in 1950 during the aftermath of the Second World War to help millions of Europeans who had fled or leave their countries due to war, hunger, diseases, and loss of homes. Another achievement is the UN has given African countries money and various kinds of help so that they can feed people and give them work to do. So why the UN helped African countries? The reason behind is that Africa is the poorest continent in our world. Hence, aside from monetary support, the UN is present on the ground supporting economic and social development and the promotion and protection of human rights. Next, the UN helps give developing countries safe and clean water because the goal 6 of the UN Sustainable Development Goals is ensuring availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Consequently, 
One of the most vital milestones has been the recognition in July 2010 by the United Nations General Assembly of the Human Right to Water and Sanitation. Let us jump to the next achievement. The UN fights drug abuse and improves the lives of children who live in poverty. The UNODC is a global leader in the fight against illicit drugs and international crime. It was established in 1997 through a merger between the United Nations Drug Control Programs and the Center for International Crime Prevention. The UNODC operates in all regions of the world through an extensive network of field offices. In addition to end poverty as all its forms everywhere is the goal one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Therefore, there is UNICEF, an organization of UN who protected the most disadvantaged children. Helping people learn how to read and write is one of the achievements made by the United Nations. So there is an UNESCO or the United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization that protects the well-being of children and ensures that they have access to continued learning. Another one is the UNICEF or the United Nations Children's Fund, which also scaled up its work in 145 low- and middle-income countries to support governments and education partners in developing plans for a rapid, system-wide response including alternative learning programs. The last achievement of the United Nations that we will tackle is the help that they invested for those farmers in poor countries that are experiencing too hot or too dry. Thus, the UN agency urges support for small farmers who are facing natural resources scarcity and climate change. The head of the UN Agricultural Agency called for information technology tools that can help boost their resilience. Those were the achievements of the United Nations. I hope you acquired a lesson out of this video. Have a nice day everyone!